Welcome, dear viewers. You've stepped into an exciting space where we uncover the less explored realities of life. This is Life Theory, the go-to platform for insights that can truly make a difference in your life. Today, we're diving into a captivating subject that touches all of us, the advice we're given throughout our lives. Have you ever paused to question the advice you've received? Today, we're unveiling 15 ineffective advice offered by unsuccessful individuals. This isn't your average educational video. It's a deep dive into recognizing and challenging the wisdom that may not be as wise as it seems. Prepare to question what you know, as we uncover the hidden implications behind seemingly harmless pieces of advice. This journey might make you uncomfortable, it might surprise you, but it's guaranteed to leave you enlightened. So, buckle up, open your mind and get ready for a thrilling exploration. Number 1. Healing and growth take time. Hello, Life Theory family, and welcome to an intriguing exploration that might just revolutionize your approach to success. In this lesson, we're diving deep into the realm of advice, focusing specifically on the kind of advice that might not always steer you in the right direction. The first piece of advice we often hear is, healing and growth take time. On the surface, this advice seems reasonable and wise, as it promotes patience and perseverance. But when we dig a little deeper, it's not quite as beneficial as it seems. Yes, healing and growth do take time, but the phrase can also serve as an excuse to avoid taking action and making significant changes. In fact, the concept of time becomes a safety net for many people, allowing them to fall into a state of complacency and delay the hard work that often accompanies growth and healing. It's easy to say, I'll do it when I'm ready, or I need more time to heal, without actually making any real progress. This advice can be particularly detrimental in the realm of personal growth and self-improvement, where taking immediate action and confronting challenges head-on are crucial. It's not about rushing the process, but about actively engaging with it. This means not waiting for the right time or until you feel ready, but instead, starting where you are, with what you have, and pushing forward. Now, this doesn't mean that you should ignore your feelings or push past your boundaries recklessly. It's important to respect your emotional state and personal limits. However, it's equally essential to not let these become barriers to your growth. The key is to strike a balance between giving yourself the space to heal and grow, and actively working towards that growth. It's about taking tangible steps towards your goals however small they may be, rather than simply waiting for time to do its magic. So, the next time you hear the advice, healing and growth take time, remember to add, but only if you actively engage in the process. It's not just about waiting for time to pass, but about using that time wisely and proactively. That's the true path to personal growth and success. Number 2. Recognizing the equality in every individual. The second piece of advice we often hear is, recognize the equality in every individual. Again, this advice, while morally and ethically sound, can unintentionally limit your perspective when it comes to personal success and growth. The intent behind this piece of advice is noble. It's aimed at promoting a sense of fairness, empathy, and understanding, which are all important values. It encourages us to treat everyone with respect and dignity which is fundamental for a harmonious society. However, when applied to personal growth and success, this advice can have an unintended side effect. It can lead to a generalized view of people and situations, which might result in ignoring the unique qualities, skills, and strengths that different individuals possess. It might make us overlook the diverse ways in which people can contribute to our lives, and how we can learn and grow from our interactions with them. Moreover, this advice might limit your ability to effectively network and build strategic relationships. Recognizing the unique abilities, experiences, and connections of individuals is vital in the world of business and personal development. Not all relationships or interactions carry the same weight or value. It's essential to identify and engage with individuals who can provide unique insights, knowledge, and opportunities that align with your personal and professional goals. 
This doesn't mean treating others with less respect or dignity, but rather recognizing and leveraging the unique value each person brings to the table. Number 3. Persistence leads to victory. The third advice often promoted by unsuccessful individuals is, persistence leads to victory. While persistence is undeniably a valuable trait to possess, it can be misdirected and lead to ineffective results if not paired with adaptability and strategic thinking. Persistence is often celebrated as a key ingredient in the recipe for success. It's true, without perseverance and tenacity, one is likely to crumble at the first sign of difficulty. However, the problem arises when this notion is taken at face value and is followed without a hint of introspection or willingness to adapt. Unsuccessful individuals often mistake stubbornness for persistence. They continue down an unproductive path, refusing to acknowledge that their efforts aren't yielding the desired results. They stick to their guns even when all evidence points towards the need for change. This is not true persistence, but rather, an unwillingness to accept and learn from failure. True persistence involves a willingness to learn, adapt, and evolve. It's about recognizing when a particular approach isn't working and being open to changing strategies. It's about learning from failures and using them as stepping stones towards success. In the realm of business, for instance, successful entrepreneurs know that they must be willing to pivot their strategies or even their entire business model if circumstances call for it. They understand that sticking to a failing plan out of sheer persistence could lead to the downfall of their enterprise. Next time you hear the advice, persistence leads to victory, remember to take it with a grain of salt. Realize that true persistence isn't about blindly sticking to a path regardless of the results. It's about having the courage to recognize when changes are needed, and the resilience to adapt and keep moving forward. Balance your persistence with flexibility, and you'll be on the right track towards success. Number 4. The power of hard work and achievement. The fourth advice often propagated by unsuccessful individuals is, the power of hard work and achievement. There's no denying that hard work is crucial to success. However, this saying can often be misconstrued, leading to a mindset of continuous exertion without thought for efficiency or balance, which can actually hinder achievement in the long run. Hard work is often celebrated as the cornerstone of success, and it's not entirely wrong. Success rarely comes without effort and dedication. However, unsuccessful individuals often promote the idea that sheer hard work alone is the key to achievement without considering other factors like strategy, time management, and work-life balance. The belief in hard work as the ultimate solution can lead to excessive work hours, burnout, and a detrimental effect on one's health and personal relationships. It encourages a culture of overwork, where individuals are judged by the number of hours they put in, rather than the results they produce. Successful people understand that hard work is just one piece of the puzzle, they know that working smarter, not just harder, is equally important. They prioritize tasks, delegate when necessary, and make use of tools and resources to increase efficiency. They also understand the importance of taking breaks, maintaining their health, and nurturing their personal relationships. They realize that achievement is a marathon, not a sprint, and that keeping a sustainable pace is key. It's also essential to keep in mind that hard work is more effective when directed towards a passion or a goal. Simply working hard without a sense of purpose or direction can lead to frustration and lack of fulfillment. Number 5. Pursue your passion and find fulfillment. One common piece of advice given by unsuccessful individuals is to pursue your passion and find fulfillment. It's a mantra that has been repeated so many times that it's become an accepted truism. However, this advice can often mislead individuals into believing that passion alone will lead to success and fulfillment, and that's not always the case. Passion is undoubtedly a powerful force that can motivate and inspire us. It can drive us to put in the extra hours, push through difficult times, and strive for excellence. But, the reality is that passion alone isn't enough. 
it doesn't guarantee success or fulfillment, and when it's pursued without a solid plan or realistic expectations, it can lead to disappointment and frustration. It's not uncommon for people to pursue their passion only to find out that they don't enjoy the reality of it, or that it doesn't provide a sustainable income. For instance, someone might have a passion for painting, but the reality of making a living as an artist can be challenging and fraught with uncertainty. Furthermore, many people have multiple passions, or their passions might change over time. The idea of choosing just one passion to pursue can lead to anxiety and indecision. Successful individuals understand that passion is important, but it's just one part of the equation. They know that skills, knowledge, and market demand are equally important. They realize that fulfillment often comes from achieving mastery, creating value, and contributing to something larger than oneself. Therefore, while it's important to acknowledge and nurture your passions, it's equally important to develop skills, seek ongoing learning, and adapt to the realities of the market. It's about finding the intersection of what you love, what you're good at, and what the market needs. Pursue your passion and find fulfillment can be valuable advice, but it should be taken with a grain of salt. It's not a magic formula for success, but one component of a multifaceted approach to building a satisfying and successful life. Number 6. Overcoming challenges strengthens you. Overcoming challenges does indeed make you stronger, but it's a piece of advice that can often be misinterpreted, especially when offered by unsuccessful individuals. It's not uncommon to hear someone say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. While this sentiment is meant to inspire resilience, it doesn't tell the whole story, and can lead to an unhealthy mindset. When we face a challenge, it's an opportunity for growth. We learn new skills, develop resilience, and gain a better understanding of our own limits and abilities. However, this doesn't mean that every challenge will inherently make us stronger or that we should seek out difficult situations for the sake of it. Challenges can indeed be opportunities for growth, but they can also lead to stress, burnout, and mental health issues if they're not managed effectively. Simply enduring hardship doesn't automatically translate into strength or growth. It's how we respond to the challenge that determines whether we grow stronger or not. Unsuccessful individuals often misinterpret this advice, believing that they should constantly be pushing themselves to the limit, or that they should endure hardship without seeking help or taking steps to mitigate the impact. This can lead to a cycle of constant struggle, without the growth and resilience that's supposed to come from overcoming challenges. Successful people understand that while challenges can make us stronger, it's essential to manage these challenges effectively. They know when to push through and when to ask for help. They understand the importance of self-care and rest in maintaining their overall well-being. They see challenges as opportunities for growth, but they also know their limits and understand the importance of balance. While overcoming challenges can indeed strengthen you, it's essential to approach this advice with a balanced perspective. Challenges can be opportunities for growth but it's important to manage them effectively and to prioritize self-care and well-being alongside resilience and perseverance. Number 7. Trust your intuition and follow your heart. This is a common piece of advice, often romanticized in movies and books, and it's not entirely without merit. Our intuition can indeed be a powerful tool in decision-making, and following our heart can lead to fulfilling experiences. However, when handed down by unsuccessful individuals, this advice can often lead to poor outcomes and miss the mark in a nuanced reality. Intuition, while useful, is not infallible. It's influenced by our past experiences and subconscious biases, which means it can sometimes lead us astray. Blindly trusting intuition without also employing logic and critical thinking can lead to impulsive decisions, unnecessary risks, and potential pitfalls. Unsuccessful individuals may rely solely on their intuition, failing to consider the bigger picture, analyze potential outcomes, or make informed decisions. Similarly, following your heart can also have its drawbacks. Our emotions can be volatile, fluctuating based on our mood, circumstances, and other factors. 
Making decisions purely based on emotion can lead to instability, unpredictability, and regret. Unsuccessful people might misinterpret this advice, believing that they should always follow their emotions, even when they contradict reason, evidence, or long-term goals. Successful individuals, on the other hand, understand the importance of balance. They recognize the value of intuition and emotions, but they also appreciate the role of logic, reason, and planning. They understand that intuition can provide valuable insight, but it should be paired with rational thought and analysis. They know that while emotions are important, they should not be the sole basis for decision-making. In essence, while trusting your intuition and following your heart can be beneficial, it's crucial to combine these elements with critical thinking and reasoned decision-making. This balanced approach allows for informed, considered decisions that take into account both our instinctual feelings and rational thoughts. Number 8. Resilience in the face of life's burdens. A common piece of advice that is often given out, especially by those who have faced a fair share of life's trials. However, when it is given by individuals who have not found success in their lives, the advice can become a misguidance. Let's delve into the reasons why. Firstly, resilience is indeed a crucial trait. It's the ability to bounce back from difficulties, to endure in the face of adversity. It's a quality that's highly celebrated and rightly so. But unsuccessful individuals often misinterpret resilience as sheer, unending endurance, as an acceptance of life's burdens without ever seeking to change the circumstances. They may continue to push through, even when the situation calls for a different approach, perhaps a step back or a change in direction. Secondly, the focus on burdens can lead to a negative outlook on life. While it's true that life comes with its share of challenges, defining life by its burdens can cultivate a mindset of constant struggle. It may prevent individuals from recognizing opportunities, focusing on growth, or experiencing joy. Successful individuals understand that resilience isn't about enduring hardships without end. It's about learning from difficulties, growing stronger because of them, and knowing when to pivot or seek help. They view life's burdens not as defining characteristics, but as aspects of a broader, richer life experience. They maintain a positive outlook, focusing on potential and opportunities, even in the face of challenges. While the advice to be resilient in the face of life's burdens holds some truth, it's critical to understand it in the right light. Resilience is valuable, but it should not mean unending endurance. And while life has its burdens, it's also filled with opportunities and joys that are equally important to acknowledge and embrace. Number 9. Embrace your authenticity. Refraining in self-help circles and personal development spaces, often propagated by those struggling to find their own success. While the sentiment behind this advice is well-intentioned, it can sometimes lead to more harm than good when not fully understood or properly applied. Authenticity, at its core, is about being genuine and true to oneself. It's about living in accordance with your values, beliefs, and desires, rather than trying to fit into someone else's mold. This is certainly an admirable goal, and being authentic can lead to a more fulfilling, meaningful life. However, when unsuccessful individuals champion the cause of authenticity, they sometimes misconstrue its meaning. They may use being authentic as an excuse for not growing or changing, rejecting the idea that they might have weaknesses to address or areas in which they need to improve. They might shirk responsibilities or dismiss constructive criticism under the guise of staying true to themselves. Additionally, they might also fail to recognize that people are multifaceted and complex, and that it's entirely possible to be authentic while still adapting to different situations or roles. Just as a chameleon changes its color to blend with its environment, we too can adapt our behavior depending on the context, without losing our core identity. Successful individuals understand that authenticity is not about stagnation or inflexibility. It involves ongoing self-reflection, personal growth, and the ability to adapt while staying true to one's values and beliefs. They recognize that they can maintain their authenticity while also striving to be the best versions of themselves. 
While embrace your authenticity can be solid advice, it should not be used as an excuse for complacency or an aversion to change. Authenticity, when rightly understood and applied, is about personal growth and adaptability, underpinned by a strong sense of self. Number 10. Finding meaning in life's events. A piece of advice often shared by individuals who have yet to find their own path to success. While searching for meaning is inherently human and can be a powerful motivator, this advice can become a stumbling block if it is misinterpreted or applied in an unbalanced way. The idea of seeking meaning is deeply rooted in our psychological makeup. It's a way to make sense of the world around us, to extract lessons from our experiences, and to derive purpose and direction in life. However, the problem arises when individuals start assigning significance to every single event, looking for profound meaning in even the most trivial of circumstances. This can lead to overthinking and mental exhaustion, as one tries to decipher hidden messages or divine cosmic intentions in every setback or challenge. It can also foster a victim mentality, where individuals blame external events for their lack of progress, rather than acknowledging their own role in shaping their life's trajectory. Moreover, the advice to find meaning in all of life's events can sometimes be an impediment to action. Instead of taking proactive steps to change their situation or improve their skills, individuals might become passive observers of their own lives, waiting for a sign or a revelation to guide their path. Successful individuals understand that while it's important to seek meaning and learn from experiences, it's equally crucial to balance this introspection with action. They recognize that not every event carries a deep symbolic significance, and that sometimes, a setback is just a setback, not a cosmic sign of personal failure. The advice to find meaning in life's events can be helpful when applied judiciously. However, it should be balanced with action-oriented strategies and a realistic perspective that recognizes the randomness of some life events. This balanced approach can help individuals navigate their journey towards success with a clear and focused mindset. Number 11. Unlocking financial success and opportunity. Phrase that unsuccessful individuals often use to offer advice. It's a vague statement that implies that there is some hidden secret or key that, once discovered, will open doors to wealth and abundance. While it sounds enticing, it can be misleading and potentially detrimental for those seeking financial growth. The idea of unlocking financial success can lead people to believe that wealth can be easily attained with the right key. This may lead individuals down a path of seeking quick fixes, magic formulas, or get-rich-quick schemes, which more often than not, result in disappointment or even financial loss. Financial success and opportunities do not come from unlocking a secret. They come from a combination of factors such as hard work, patience, disciplined saving, prudent investing, and continuous learning. It requires a deep understanding of personal finance, including budgeting, saving, investing, and risk management. Opportunities are not always presented, often, they are created. Successful individuals create opportunities by constantly learning, networking, and putting themselves in situations where opportunities are likely to arise. They take calculated risks and are not afraid of failures. Financial success is a journey, not a destination. It's about setting realistic financial goals, making a plan to reach those goals, and then consistently executing that plan. It's about making sound financial decisions that align with your goals and values. While the idea of unlocking financial success and opportunity sounds appealing, it's important to understand that there are no shortcuts or secret keys to wealth. Financial success comes from a combination of financial knowledge, disciplined habits, hard work, and patience. The key is to focus on building these qualities and skills, rather than looking for an elusive unlocking mechanism. Number 12. Love will find its way naturally. Used by unsuccessful individuals when giving relationship advice. While it does hold some truth, it often results in a passive approach to relationships and a lack of effort in nurturing and maintaining them. At first glance, the phrase implies that love will happen when it's meant to, 
without any effort or intention on our part. It paints a picture of destiny or fate, which can be comforting for those waiting for love to come knocking on their door. But it's important to remember that relationships are not solely about serendipity or destiny. They require active participation, work, and commitment. Taking a passive stance in love can lead to missed opportunities and potential relationships. People who wait for love to find its way often end up not taking initiative in their relationships, failing to communicate their feelings, or not making efforts to meet new people. They may also be prone to overlooking red flags in a relationship because they believe that love will sort everything out naturally. In reality, successful relationships require mutual respect, understanding, compromise, and a lot of hard work. They require individuals to take an active role in expressing their feelings, understanding their partner's needs, and working through conflicts. They require constant nurturing and investment of time and effort. While love can certainly come unexpectedly and without effort, it is the effort put into understanding, nurturing, and growing that love which leads to strong, successful relationships. So instead of waiting for love to find its way naturally, it's more beneficial to actively seek out and cultivate love in your life. The phrase love will find its way naturally should not be taken as an excuse to take a passive approach to love and relationships. It's a reminder that love can happen unexpectedly, but it still requires effort and active participation to grow and flourish. Number 13. Patience rewarded with good things. While patience is indeed a virtue and an important quality to have, it's not always the key to success, and this phrase can sometimes misguide people into a state of inaction. The saying suggests that if one waits long enough, they will inevitably receive the fruits of their patience. This is not always the case, especially when it's misinterpreted as an excuse for not actively pursuing goals and dreams. Success is typically the result of careful planning, dedicated effort, and active pursuit, rather than simply waiting for good things to come. In the business world, for instance, waiting patiently without making any active steps towards growth can lead to stagnation. Companies need to innovate, adapt, and actively seek opportunities in order to survive and thrive in the ever-changing market landscape. Individuals who adopt this passive approach in their careers may find themselves being surpassed by others who are more proactive in seeking opportunities and acquiring new skills. Even in personal life, patience must be coupled with effort. A person cannot simply wait for their health to improve without making lifestyle changes, or expect to find a life partner without actively putting themselves out there. While patience is an important quality, it must be balanced with action. It's important to know when to be patient, when to allow things to develop in their own time, and when to take action to move things forward. It's about knowing when to wait for the right opportunity and when to create the opportunity yourself. In essence, all this holds truth but it should not be misinterpreted as a passive approach to life. Patience, coupled with proactive action, is what truly leads to success and good outcomes. Number 14. Harnessing the power of positive thinking. A piece of advice often touted by individuals who haven't tasted the full spectrum of success. While it's true that a positive mindset can be a powerful tool for motivation and resilience, it's not a magic wand that can simply erase life's problems or guarantee success. The concept of positive thinking has been popularized through self-help books and motivational speeches, promoting the idea that if you think positive thoughts, positive outcomes will automatically follow. This oversimplified approach can lead to unrealistic expectations and even set individuals up for failure. Reality is, life is a complex interplay of events and circumstances, not all of which are within our control. Simply thinking positively will not prevent challenges or obstacles from arising. Instead, it's our response to these challenges that can make the difference between success and failure. Moreover, positive thinking can sometimes lead to complacency. For example, an entrepreneur who is overly positive might overlook potential risks in their business, while a student who always thinks positively might neglect studying for an exam, assuming that they will do well regardless. 
Positive thinking also risks dismissing valid emotions and experiences. It's crucial to acknowledge and process all feelings, including negative ones. Pain, disappointment, and failure are all part of the human experience and provide valuable lessons for growth and resilience. Instead of solely focusing on positive thinking, it's far more effective to adopt a realistic optimism approach. This involves maintaining a positive outlook while also acknowledging the reality of a situation. It means being hopeful about the future, but also taking active steps to address challenges and working hard to achieve your goals. Remember, positive thinking is not a substitute for action, and it's through our actions that we create real change and progress in our lives. Life isn't always sunshine and rainbows, and that's okay. It's how we navigate through the storm that truly counts. Number 15. Making the most of your youthful potential. While it's a well-intentioned piece of advice, it can be misleading and potentially harmful. There's an assumption in this phrase that one's prime years are only in youth, creating a sense of urgency and pressure to accomplish everything early in life. It also carries the implication that once you've crossed the threshold of youth, your potential somehow diminishes, which is far from the truth. The problem with this advice is that it promotes a narrow and linear perspective on life, suggesting that success must follow a specific timeline. It discourages people from exploring, making mistakes, and learning at their own pace. It implies that if you haven't made it by a certain age, you've somehow missed your chance. Life, however, is not a race. People bloom and achieve success at different stages. There are countless examples of individuals who found their calling or achieved success later in life. Take Vera Wang, who entered the fashion industry at 40, or Samuel L. Jackson, who only received his first major movie role at 46. Moreover, focusing solely on maximizing youthful potential can lead to burnout and a lack of enjoyment in life. It's essential to balance ambition with self-care, and to appreciate the journey as much as the destination. Your potential does not have an expiration date. Life is a continuous journey of growth and learning. It's never too late to start something new, to change careers, to learn a new skill, or to pursue a dream. So rather than getting hung up on making the most of your youthful potential, strive to make the most of your potential at every stage of your life. Don't let age define your capabilities or limit your aspirations. And there you have it, life theory enthusiasts, the 15 pieces of ineffective advice often offered by unsuccessful individuals. We've explored a vast landscape, from misconceptions about healing and growth, to misguided notions about financial success, love, and youth. Throughout this journey, we hope you've discovered the power of critical thinking, of questioning the status quo, and of reshaping your understanding. Remember, not all advice is created equal. It's essential to filter out the noise and focus on the insights that truly contribute to your growth and success. Thank you for being an integral part of this enlightening journey. Your time, your curiosity, and your thirst for knowledge are what make Life Theory a thriving community. As we sign off, remember to continue challenging the norms, questioning the advice you receive, and relentlessly striving for personal growth. Keep growing, keep learning, and keep on rising. Enjoyed this lesson? Smash that like button and subscribe to Life Theory, don't miss out on our next enlightening episode or our free premium learning packs. Your click is your passport to knowledge. Until next time, this is Life Theory, your trusted companion on the path to enlightenment.